Hello magical one! In today's video I'm taking you with me as I live my most magical autumnal day as a witch. We build a cozy home for our hedgehog friends, of course we get creative and we make sure that the days this autumn will not be forgotten. Make sure to stick around to see what little inhabitant of the forest we will meet and how that is no coincidence at all. So grab your favorite mug, make yourself some tea, get cozy and let's spend an autumnal day together. I started this day by dressing up as the autumn witch that I wanted to embody that day. I chose my jewelry with intention as well. And I think just like the trees are changing their dresses right now, I also kind of go through a transformation. I just love embodying a new version of myself and express myself more on a daily basis. And with a smile on my face, I made my way to the kitchen. A part of my morning routine that cannot be missed is to drink a cup of tea. I found that delicious tea that is called Easter Truffle, but I just drink it throughout the year because it simply tastes heavenly. And it is this slow, simple ritual that makes me feel gratitude in my whole body. The simple act of mindfulness sets the tone for the rest of my day, allowing me to approach everything with a sense of calmness and intention. And while drinking my warm cup of tea, I set my intentions for the day. For this specific day that we would spend together, I intended that it would be a creative and magical autumnal day that would bring me joy but inspire you at the same time and that all the magic that I would encounter that day would show up for all of you as well. As I set my intentions I felt this sense of excitement for the day ahead knowing that every moment held the potential for unlimited magic. I just started to deep cleanse my home this week. I decluttered and really took the time to get rid of any unwanted and stuck energies. And I wanted to extend this fresh new energy with some beautiful flowers inspired by the magnificent colors of autumn. Thank you. 
Now is the time to get your garden or your plants on your balcony ready for winter. And so I decided to give my little garden a makeover. I switched into my fairy garden clothes and was ready to make this little corner of my garden ready for winter. Most of the plants should be cut back now so that they can thrive again next year. I removed the weeds and cut back the roses, but I always leave some lavender for the bees that are still busy in late autumn. So next time you plant something in your garden, try to find different plants that flower throughout the year, because it supports your little insect friends and the fairies will love it too, trust me on that. In autumn my Asta flowers and my Sedum Spectabile Brillant still flower and you can see many insects thankfully taking a rest on the fluffy flower cushions, drinking some nectar after most of the other plants are already gone. I also planted these flower bulbs in this beautiful dark blue to make sure that I would be greeted with flowers in the most magnificent colors in spring. And I just love how nature always sends me the cutest messengers. Remember that for today we intended a creative yet magical day that would bring me joy but inspire you at the same time? This day our little messenger was the cutest little hedgehog that was enjoying the sun, munching through the grass and didn't run away even when I got closer. After I spent some time with my new friend, I went inside to read in my spirit animal book about the meaning of the hedgehog and I could not believe what was written there. So whenever I go outside and I meet a messenger of Mother Earth is what I like to call them, honestly I'm always so amazed because what is written in this little book right here and what is going on on that particular day or maybe in general in my life at that moment, 
like the resemblance is amazing like what is written in here like the spiritual meaning is so relatable to my life or like as i said that particular day and listen to the spiritual meaning of a hedgehog like listen to what our little hedgehog friend has to tell us for that day no matter what is going on for you right now do your absolute best to enjoy your life retreat from your usual routines for a day or two as a way of refreshing your body and spirit this is a very fertile and creative time for you so express yourself artistically in some enjoyable way you have a powerful connection with ancient goddess energy whether you're male or female work directly with the earth by doing some planting and gardening at your first opportunity this is a good time to honor your natural curiosity and satisfy it by following any whims intuitive leads or inner promptings that occur so you see what i mean right basically what was written on that page in that little book was our whole day so far it was even the intention that i set for today because as i said in the beginning I wanted this day to be joyful. I wanted it to be creative and magical so that it could inspire you in some way. And it's really cool to see that our little hedgehog friend basically was confirming all of that. So we did the gardening, we put our hands into the soil to feel the connection to Mother Earth. We are about to do a creative painting session, which is amazing. And on top of that, right now, I'm even researching a goddess that I'm really interested about. So yeah, you see what I mean, right? So if you have any animals in your life and you think they could be some messengers, then definitely check out their spiritual meaning. I don't check out every single animal just whenever I think they are a messenger and they have a message for me, then I will check them out and do some more research. But yeah, with that being said, I think now it's time to move on with our bucket list for our autumnal and witchy day, shall we? After seeing him enjoying the sun and probably collecting some food for winter already, I decided to make a house where he and his friends could rest in winter. I had a lot of wood left from other DIY projects, but it was not as easy as I thought it would be, but with the help of my little house gnomes, I was able to build the house. Of course, there is no autumnal day without being outside in the woods, or like today in the fairy realm. The hedgehog truly sparked my inner creativity for the rest of the day and I was simply overflowing with new ideas of what activities I could do as a witch on that beautiful autumn day.
This year I also wanted to make an autumn memory jar where I could collect all the things that I found on my adventures or even things that I wrote down to go back to it whenever I feel like I need it so that the days this autumn would not be forgotten. The hedgehog reminded me that if we don't write things down we tend to forget them because when we are going through not so good times we tend to forget all the small good things that happened and are happening still and all the maybe not so obvious signs we receive. So throughout this season I want to write down special autumn moments or things I'm grateful for on small pieces of paper. And if you want to, you can do the same. Simply write down all the magical moments from this autumn or the things that you are grateful for on a small piece of paper. Maybe it's that beautiful rainbow you saw. Maybe it's the squirrel you saw on that tree or that butterfly dancing around you or that white feather that was falling directly on your nose. And then place them in a decorated jar. I also put in some fairy lights because to me this is a reminder that there is light even in the darkest of times or like Dumbledore once said, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. And at the end of the season or really any time when you feel like you need some light and magic, read through them to remember the little magical moments autumn brought you. And as I said, you can also put in really anything that reminds you of magical moments. I decided to put in some leaves, chestnuts, a pine cone for protection and I'm sure I will put in many more treasures I find on my adventures this autumn. The next activity that was on my bucket list for that day was doing an intuitive painting. And if you have been here for a while, then you know that I just love intuitive paintings. It's just such a relaxing and calming activity, yet it really allows your inner magic to come through. And honestly, I just do whatever wants to come through. I don't really pay attention to what shapes I'm doing. I don't really pay attention to the colors I'm using. I just do whatever feels right. And at the end, when I'm finished, I simply check in with the painting and see if there is anything that is coming up, any message, any motive that I may recognize, like here I just see a dragon for example. And that is how I do my intuitive paintings. There is no pressure, you can do whatever you want and I love to experiment with some paintings and new materials for that as you can see and yeah I really really love doing them. Now the last thing on my list for today was making a crystal grid and I had this piece of wood and I really started to love painting on wood so for that a crystal grid that I could use in upcoming spells and rituals really was perfect. I did some research about signs and symbols 
and stumbled across the fairy star. The seven tips represent the sun, the forest, the sea, magic, the moon, the wind and spirit. So the septagram was the perfect symbol for my magic. I also chose some runes to be engraved into the wood to enhance any future magic. And I spent quite some time confirming that the runes that were about to be engraved really were the ones that wanted to be engraved and would support me in upcoming spells and rituals. All right, magical one, how did you enjoy spending an autumnal day with me? I really, really hope you had a lot of fun. At least I had a lot of fun. And if you have watched until here, thank you so, so much. And if you are not already subscribed, let's be friends, subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who may also like it. And yeah let me know in the comments down below what your favorite autumnal activities are and we will hang out again next week so i really hope you have a good week and see you then <laughs> bye bye